This is an easy to make clock and square wave generator made with an op amp, a 741, the mother of all <coughs> op amps. And the good thing about this circuit is that you need here relatively low value capacitors to get to um, low frequencies. You see what I found in practice. The frequencies that can be reached with a certain capacitor. One nanofarad. It goes from uh, 392 hertz up to 3.5 kilohertz. 10 nanofarad, uh, 32 hertz up to 460 hertz. 100 nanofarad, 2.4 hertz up to 35 hertz. And 7 microfarad, non-polar. Uh, it acts more or less <coughs> as a clock generator. So that's the reason why I made here two dots. Um, and here you can see how the circuit works as a clock generator. Now the LED is on. And it gets out and you, the click that you hear is the click that comes from the audio amplifier that's connected to the output. So there's a certain time in between. And the frequency is set with this potentiometer here. And this series resistor. But also the frequency can be set by means of this one mega ohm resistor. And how the circuit works, as far as I can understand it, it's a comparator circuit. It compares the two inputs from the, in, from the 741 are um, in a comparator circuit. They are compared and we set the, um, the point 3, that's one input from the 741, to a fixed voltage made by this, these two. 100k um, resistors and the output is connected to 2 and that means that this capacitor here is charged slowly or quickly and on a certain moment the, the voltage on this pin is so high that the, the output from the op amp changes, switches to another level. And um, that means that the circuit oscillates. When you want to use um, capacitors for long periods, I found that only tantalium capacitors work properly. So you can make them non-polar by connecting the minus electrodes together and the plus electrodes here. And that's the way to make them non-polar. So here you see two orange tantalium capacitors. And together they have a value from approximately 7 uh, microfarad. And this is what happens on low frequencies. Here you see the voltage suddenly drop to a certain value. But now I'm going to disconnect the, the uh, tantalium capacitors and I'm going to a somewhat uh, lower capacitance for CX. Put on the camera. And I take the two Passengers out now.
2.3 uh, Hertz change it with the value from this potentiometer to 31 Hertz and that's the good thing about it small capacitors give a um, relatively low frequency so this was 32 Hertz now I changed the time base from the scope and here you see the waveform at 32 Hertz in its full glory it has a little bit uh, edges under a certain angle but the whole circuit is very well usable for a um, generator for instance to drive another circuit And I found that the voltage has uh, a, a substantial influence on the frequency. Now I use 8.5 volts. But when you change it to 6 volt or 12 volt, you will find other frequencies and also a little bit other waveforms. And then I mean that the period in between, between uh, the square peak. So this period here can change when you change the supply voltage. So you have to do some experiments to adapt this circuit to your own situation. And always use a bright LED here. It gives better results.